Hey guys, welcome to another Football Manager 2023 mobile video. In this video, I'll be covering the top 10 clubs to manage in Football Manager Mobile for this year's edition. This is whether it's challenges, new club added, um, if they're doing well in real life, interesting, if they're an interesting side. But I'll get into the list right now. So number one I'll go with is Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest are an interesting side as they've been promoted to the Premier League for the first time since 1993. Um, they made a lot of signings with over 20 plus signings this season. So it'd be an interesting challenge to see if you could keep them up. Um, if you could improve on it, finish top half and even go further with this side. But as you can see, they have a lot of players that you can work with. And... Lots of flexibility as well as a pretty decent transfer budget as they're in the Premier League. Number two I'm going to go with is in Portugal. They're a big side, um, Benfica. Uh, they're usually considered the top club in P Portugal. They are currently. What makes them interesting is even though they're the best side in Portugal, can you go further with them? Can you go further than them being in the quarterfinals of the Champions League last season and potentially even be a challenger to win the trophy? Um, they probably have a decent transfer budget due to selling players such as Jao Felix and Nunes over the years. Um, they're usually seen as a selling club, but can you establish them as a top side in Europe? So for number three... Another one to be interested in is Valencia. Valencia are currently struggling in La Liga and have struggled the last few seasons, being usually mid-table to bottom half. This is due to lack of investments through their owner, Peter Lim. So it's an interesting challenge where you can see if you can establish their glory days of the 2000s and... Turn them into a top team in Spain again who can compete with your Barca's, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, all of those sides. Also, they'll need some strengthening, as you can see with their squad. There's definitely areas you can improve and build on. Number four is a pretty well-known team, especially recently, despite being in the National League. It is Wrexham. They've been in the... National League for a number of seasons, but with their new owners, which Ryan Reynolds and all that, can you get them promoted to the Football League and even go further with them due to this investment? Interestingly, they have the quality definitely through Paul Mullen and others like that, but can you definitely improve on where they have been the last few years and take them up the English football ladder? So Wrexham's definitely one to watch out for. Another side I'll go to is back in the Premier League, which is Leeds United. Another team that's been noted for being a big club with a massive fan base. Um, over the past few years, they've sold their best players last season in the forms of Calvin Phillips and Rafinha to Man City and Barca, respectively. They also have a pretty young side, so it's definitely an interesting squad to work with. Especially when you have players such as Aronson, Adams, Wober, Melier. Um, even other players like Sinistera, Ganato. A um, few others, but definitely they have a young side that you can build them to a top side. So definitely Leeds United's one to look out. For if you're looking for another challenge in the Premier League. Next, I'm going to go to Canada. This one's more obscure, but as someone who's Canadian, it is Vancouver FC. They were added today with the winter update. They're a side that has a pretty weak side, like Canadian Premier League's probably non-league level in England. But with this new team that's being established and playing in 2023 season instead of SC Edmonton. Can you build this uh, lack of quality side into a top team in Canada and compete with Forge FC 
and Ottawa, who've been the two best teams. But it's definitely an interesting uh, challenge as they're a new team and you don't really get much funds. I tried earlier today, but they definitely don't provide you with much funds and the quality of the players isn't great at all, usually ranging between one and two stars for that level. So it's definitely a challenge if you want something to try, especially on a different continent. And next we'll go with is Napoli. They are uh, unlicensed unless you get logo packs through Android or whatnot. But Napoli is an interesting side because of their squad with their Georgian winger, Kavart Sheila, and Aussie man. Those two have been lighting up Syria and... Can you take them to the next level on top of winning the league and even challenge for the Champions League like they're trying to do in reality? But they're definitely an interesting side. And I'll add on, besides just Napoli, uh, Juventus is definitely one that you can look at as well. As Juventus is definitely been lacking. They got that point deduction, but... They're definitely not where they used to be. They've been finishing top four in fourth place the last few seasons under Pirlo and even Allegri struggling a bit. So can you return them back to top dog in Italy? It probably shouldn't be very hard to do that, but it's definitely a challenge considering where they are. It's even an interesting challenge first season because you have a 15-point deduction. So for number eight, we're going to go to Turkey. And this is Hatay Spor. They're a team that's been affected by the most recent uh, earthquake in Turkey. Uh, they've lost a lot of their quality in their side with a lot of transfers. So can you build them into a top Turkish side? Compete, compete with Fenerbahce, Besiktas, Galatasaray? Those three teams definitely are top teams. And it's definitely an interesting challenge. If you're looking for a team outside and top uh, leagues in Europe. So there's definitely that. Then we're going to go to Argentina for number nine, which is Independiente. Which are even in this game, how it's been simmed near the bottom. But they're a mid-table team in Argentina. They came 14th in uh, the Superliga in Argentina last season. Um, they've won an astonishing seven Copa Libertadores, which is the most, I believe, in the competition. But can you uh, re-establish them into the, you get them into that top 12 there, or even into top four and go to Libertadores and win them another? It's definitely a tiny bit of a fallen giant team, so it's definitely a challenge to re-establish them back to the top. And then I'll, for number 10, Poland. The one with Poland I'm going to be talking about is Wisla Krakow. They're a team that used to be a top team in Poland, uh, won a few top flight divisions there. They're owned by, they're owned by Jacob Blaszkowski. He plays for free. It shows up as £20, his wage, his wage per week. But it's definitely an interesting uh, squad. Can you reestablish them back to the top flight? And even establish them as a top team in Poland again? I used to play as this team in Football Manager Mobile 2019. I won a Champions League with them. But yeah, it's definitely a team that's interesting. They used to be one of the top sides in Poland. But now they went bankrupt. And now they're in the second tier of Polish football. So that's for my top 10 list. One other team I'll be noting that is interesting would be Union Berlin. They're a side that is currently, I believe, third in Bundesliga. They lost 3-0 to Bayern on the weekend. But they've been punching above their weight and have been doing amazing in the Bundesliga. And will be fighting for Champions League. So it's definitely a challenge where you can see if you can get similar success. They also have a few interesting players like Sabachu from who they got from Young Boys here. 
as well as Becker, who's from Suriname, who's been doing well this season, and a few others like Salona Vlite from Porto, Ruzalon, they've been definitely going with a few free transfers, as well as Juranovic, who they got from Celtic in January. So there's definitely a few interesting players there that you can work with, but it's definitely a challenge to replicate reality and see if you can have similar success. But that's it for my list. Uh, I gave you a top 10 plus two honorable mentions of Juventus and Union Berlin. This is after the winter update. I might do a video on players to look at. This is my list, definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've done this video the past few years, but it's definitely a video that I like to make because it gives you an idea of teams to look out for, especially if you get bored of your current save and are looking for something new to do. But there you've got it. So thank you for watching this video. If you like the content I make on Football Manager Mobile, please consider liking this video and subscribing. But as I say, that's my video. Thanks for watching.